welcome to office. Home of where I do this now, maybe. I'm your best friend, Kate, and today I'm going to be unboxing the goth version of the strawberry dress. Because I don't look good in pink. I'm already pink. It's too much pink. So here's the story. I was talking to my boss friend mentor at work, trying to figure out what I should do with my profit sharing this year. And we were talking about RSPs, whether I do my work RSP or my personal RSP, or if I spend it on something nice. So I got strawberry dress. Andy went halfers on it with me, but this is still the most ridiculous dress I've ever bought. Because 2020 was the most ridiculous year there's ever been. I thought I could open that with my bare hands, but no. So satisfying. This came so quickly. Obviously, we're all being patient with all shipping companies right now. But this happened like COVID wasn't even a thing. Like Christmas wasn't even a thing. Here it is, all wrapped up, which is a very nice touch. Oh, it's one of those decorative bows. Just kidding, I'm incompetent. It is packaged like a neat little football of fashion. Oh, sequins everywhere. Not sequins, just glitter. It's a fun feature. So I have been a fan of Strawberry Dress for quite a while. Did I like it before I was famous? Yes. Does that make me better than you? No, it doesn't. I was never gonna buy it because I just don't pink me. We don't, it's not. Mm. But then her goth sister was born and I just had it open in a tab for months. I just, every now and then I switch over to that tab and I look and it be like, oh, wow, yeah. That's nice. What I never noticed though, is the back is very plungy. I knew the front was plungy, but the, the back is almost as plungy. I just can't put it on. It's an option, right? Like, you can, this is pretty versatile. You can wear this a lot of places. Let's see if we can have a better view than, than of my office chair. I'm pretty content. Right here. See, this is just an example of how first attack. Mm -hmm. I bought the small. I was concerned about it because it like is a little high waisted. My waist, where is she? She's here. So up here is where the waistband is, which is wider. But I can breathe, I can move furniture. Uh, and the dress did zip, but there was a problem. I don't know if I captured it earlier, but I did notice when I took it out of the package, it wasn't zipped all the way up. You can't see my face. <laughs> just, this is talking to you in a really awkward way. So yeah, zipping it up was an issue because there was a little factory defect, but Andy and I got in there with the flashlights and the scissors. We zipped them out and were able to zip it up. I think it's a little tight. I noticed a, a bit of puckering back there. And I don't think that that is the, the dress. I don't think it's the fabric. I don't think it's bulk. I think it's, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> hand bulk. But it does fit. Thank God. <laughs> it leaves glitter everywhere, which is ideal. That way people know where you've been. I'm very securely in here because I'm not well endowed in the chest department. I could see this being uncomfortable for some people. I'm totally fine with it though. If you bought this in a larger size, or maybe it just fit you differently, you could alter it, you know, be a little bit more conservative. Fuck that. That's not what strawberry dress is about. At first, I found the length a little long. I thought it was supposed to be a, a midi dress, which I think traditionally cuts you off mid-calf. This is too to my ankles. I could wear heels. Maybe that's the, no, that's still weird. Anyway, I like it, it's fine. Is it itchy? Yes. Is it impractical? Also, yes. Do I have absolutely nowhere to wear it for the foreseeable future? I'm gonna wear it tomorrow night. Tomorrow night's New Year's. I'm gonna manifest everything I want for 2021. Let's sit down and chat about it. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> when you can't see the rest of my body, this is a lot, do I? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a very confident person, but I just do feel naked. I'm just gonna feel naked. I'm just gonna feel naked. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, strawberry mouse moth. You shall help me regain my dignity. Is this fashion? Just
just while I get comfortable, let's talk about the dress. A lot of videos have been made on this dress. Everything has already been said, but I shall state my case in case you have not involved yourself in this. This dress is pricey, it's designer. Even so, it's very affordable for a designer piece. This is silly. And people really love it and they really want it. So there've been a lot of knockoffs. This is something that always happens in fashion. There's always a piece that people don't wanna spend the money on. The problem with knockoffs, with replicas, is that it is stealing someone's intellectual property. The people who designed this dress and did the patterns for it did the fabric for it. They put so much time and effort into that and they deserve to reap the rewards of that. It may seem silly and it may seem frivolous to spend that amount of money on a dress that you can't wear day to day. Mm, shouldn't wear day to day. You can do whatever you want. The only reason you shouldn't wear it day to day is because this is, you know, this is pretty, this is pretty fragile. I'm getting distracted. As with Lolita fashion, these are little niche pieces by little niche designers. And if you just imagine yourself in their shoes, how much it would break your heart if someone else stole your design and profited off of it. If people love what you made, but didn't want to support you making it, there's a time and a place for the bargain stuff, for the sneaky, devious, off the truck stuff. But when that money is coming out of an independent designer or artist or whoever, out of, of a person's pocket, that's whack, don't do it. I am just gonna keep this short and sweet. I need to go take 500 selfies. There will be more dress content coming up. This time Lolita, this is not Lolita, but it is cute. Oh, what's in here? There's a feather in here. No, it's a piece of tulle from another dress. Maybe this is from pink strawberry dress. Never know. If you want to scoop up your own strawberry dress, visit Libika Matoshi. They've got all kinds of cute stuff. Sweaters, socks, really cute socks. I wanted a pair of the socks, but the socks I wanted were sold out. So now you know that information. Today's creator shout out on the spot, Olivia Chin Mueller. She's an artist illustrator. She makes these awesome little mouse moth characters. Her store is called Lumichi. She is going to be releasing a mouse moth sweatshirt soon. She just released one. It's purple. Again, I don't do well in purple. This is supposed to be gray. It keeps going purple. We're not going to talk about it. The mouse moth sweatshirt that I'm looking forward to is black and mouse moth has a knife. So that's going to be really good. Also, there's bat bat, like mouse moth, but a uh, bat. This is definitely gonna be my last video in 2020, unless I stream tomorrow, TBD. Thank you so much for watching with me this year. I made it to 3,000 followers, which is very nice. Thank you so much for hanging out. As is tradition, I will be doing a giveaway, uh, but I haven't planned it at all or thought about it, uh, other than knowing that it's something that I will do. So please stay tuned for that and more Lolita content. Not sure if I'll be participating in a Lolita wardrobe challenge this year. I probably should just do it. I should just commit to it. I should just, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna participate in it because it's important to me. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so tired, but that's fine. I hope you all have an excellent new year. I'll see you in 2021. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna crush it, We're gonna crush it together. Everything's gonna be crushed really palatable, easy, easy to chew, easy to digest, and uh, <laughs> covered in sparkles. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again after not too long. Bye.